Welcome to the tutorial importing Adobe Illustrator files and PDFs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import those file formats into Animate Pro along with their corresponding color palettes and convert these files into Toon Boom vector graphic files so that they can be manipulated in Animate or Animate Pro. So in this Adobe Illustrator file that I have, Ornate Design, you can see that it's broken down into several different shapes. So any closed vector shape, such as this beige splatter behind, so this is an individual shape, uh, this is an individual shape, um, will retain its individuality when brought into Animate Pro. Um, but the layer structure uh, will all be flattened. So the yellow shells, the blue curly design, and the splatter will all exist on the same layer, but you will still be able to manipulate them as individual objects on that individual layer. So let's begin by going um, to Animate Pro. So in Animate Pro, we have to go to the library. And from the library, we need to unlock the Animate Pro library. And we do this by right-clicking on the library and choosing the menu item, Write to Modify. Then there are two ways of importing your files. You can either go to the File menu and select Import SWF Illustrator Files to Library, or you can right-click on your file and say Import Files. So your browser window opens, and you can browse your computer to select your file. So in this case, it's Ornit Design AI. We're going to say Open. Then you have the opportunity to rename your TPL or template file, or you can leave it as is, which I'm going to do as the original Illustrator file name, Ornit Design. I'm going to say OK. And then you can drag your template either into the camera view or into the left side of your timeline. And here they're going to ask you if you want to do some color recovery, which you definitely want to do. So we say yes. So now you're Adobe Illustrator file has been brought in and converted into a TVG, a Toon Boom Vector Graphic, so you can use it and manipulate it for your own animation. The layers have all been flattened, uh, but you do get the palette that you can also manipulate from um, your Illustrator file. So you can do the same thing with PDF files. So I have a PDF that I generated from the Adobe Illustrator file. So it looks identical, except that it's a PDF, so ornitdesign.pdf. So let's bring this in to our scene as well. So we do exactly the same process that we did um, for the Adobe Illustrator file. Our, our um, Anime Pro library is already unlocked, so we don't have to do the right to modify again. It's already checked, so we know it's there. So we can import files from here, or we can go to the file menu and say import SWF Illustrator or files to library, of course with our file selected here in the uh, library view. So we get our browser window up again and this time I'm going to select Ornit Design PDF and say open. So this time I'm going to change the file name now that I'm given the chance because I already have a file named Ornit Design. So I'll just add PDF at the end so I remember this is the PDF and say OK. So let's hide this from view and then let's bring in our Ornit Design PDF template to the left side of the timeline and drop that there. So once again it's asking you for the same thing if you'd like to do color recovery and so we're gonna say yes. And let's back up a little bit. And as you can see, the PDF uh, also brought in the same design um, as, a, as a vector drawing. So even though the layers aren't retained, even in the PDF or the AI file, you can see that you can still select these objects separately, even though they exist on the same layer, um, and still move them around and manipulate them as individual objects. So that's it for the tutorial. Um, importing Adobe Illustrator files and PDFs. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, importing from Adobe Flash.